Hey everyone, it's Trevor Olinick from GNR Camping World. We're Winnipeg's only RV care dealer and we have Winnipeg's largest and most experienced RV service center. For our 50th anniversary sale event, we're standing by this beautiful Jayco J-Flight SLX 237RBS. This unit is what we call a couple's unit, no bunk beds, but uh, you could sleep a couple people in there for sure. Comes in at around 5,700 pounds, so a half ton towable for sure. Don't need a big giant three quarter ton. We're gonna go around this unit, we'll go inside, we'll show you what it has to offer. One of the first things I'd like to point out is the two year warranty, two plus three actually. So it's two years, bumper to hitch, everything covered against manufacturer defects, and three years on the structure itself. That's a Jayco exclusive, by the way. There's not many, if any, other manufacturers that are offering that type of warranty. Most, it's one year, which around here, let's be honest, that's, that's, a, that's three to six months, that's all we get to use it. This is two full camping seasons worth of warranty plus a third on the structure. Right off the bat, the SLX family, what they do is they, they, they've br brought down some of the options, they've shaved out a bit of the options to keep the cost down, still keeping good Jayco quality. And we're gonna talk about that as we go through and inside because it shows all over, right from the ground up, and I'll show you later. First of all, <clears throat> power tongue jack. No need to crank, you know, to get it up and off the truck. Uh, it's got a night light on it, so if you pull up at the campsite dark, and that happens quite often, you leave late at night and you get to the campsite late, you've got a light to shine on the hitch area or in the campground area for, for that matter. This one is equipped with the optional 30 pound propane tanks with the hard cover. We fill the propane tanks here, so you're getting it ready to go right out of the gate here with full propane tanks, the battery, the sewer hose. Uh, the AC park adapter for uh, 30 amp down to 15 amp if you need it. And we also provide a full orientation by an RV technician when you pick it up. Even shows you how to hook it up. So lots of good stuff up front here. Four stabilizer jacks, not just two. We don't, uh, you know, a lot of brands out there, they're doing just two stabilizer jacks on the rear. This has four. In here, massive, huge storage area under the bed. Full pass through, accessible from both sides and the bed lifts up to access everything inside. And we'll show you that uh, while we're inside as well. What do you think of the graphics on the exterior? Well, most, a lot of the campers out there in the RVs, they're all white, white, white. Well, they've, they've done a great job of uh, multicolor gray, darks, lights, all different things. Three plus two year warranty, says it right there. So there it is in writing. The awning, power awning. This is push button, you push a button, it goes out, push a button, it goes in. It has the LED light strip along the entire awning. This is a huge awning and uh, it goes almost the whole distance of the trailer. Uh, there are speakers integrated into that awning as well. So for having music out by the campsite, there are speakers right in the awning for that. Very nice. Gas and electric hot water tank. Again, some of the brands out there, what they're doing to keep their costs way down, but still they're inconveniencing the customer. They're just doing a gas hot water tank. You gotta light it with a pilot light. This is gas or electric. If you pull into a campsite, why burn your propane if you've got electricity that you've already paid for, run it on electric, electricity. This area right here, <clears throat> This is your outdoor TV viewing area. Now what they do is they give you a bracket that you can mount onto a TV and there's actually two locations, one in the trailer and one outside the trailer where you can clip it on, hook it up to the cable it outlet here, even the electrical outlets right here and you can have TV under the awning for watching those bomber game, Jets games. There's also one of these mounts inside. So one TV can service two areas. They give you the bracket and the mounting areas for this in here. What did I say earlier about the quality from the ground up, and that's exactly what I mean, is Goodyear tires, right? Right from the ground up, Jayco does it better than a lot of other brands. Goodyear tires, made in the USA, made in North America. It's uh, heavier duty sidewall, heavier duty tire all overall. It's the highest speed rated tire out there. Comes with the best warranty in the business as well. The other thing about Jayco is their A-frame, and I should have showed you that where we're back there, but the A-frame is actually part of the frame structure of the trailer. A lot of other brands, what they do is they weld on the A-frame, tack weld it underneath. This is integrated right into the frame. So strongest frame, strongest foundation, best wheels, best tires on the market, and it, it shows with the warranty. They build them better, they back them better, also better resale value. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned this or not in any of the other videos, but actually the Jayco the J Flight 
family of trailers has been the number one selling travel trailer brand in North America for 15 years in a row. Best warranty, best selling, best backed, and best resale value, proven. It's actually been proven that Jayco has a better resale value than other brands. Okay, like I said, right around 5,700 pounds for this half ton towable. You got the screen door here to keep the bugs out. Manitoba, mosquitoes, couple maybe. Uh, so that'll keep your mosquitoes uh, out and other bugs. This has become extremely popular. Three steps on here, and a lot of other brands are only doing two steps. Again, that's how they cheap out and save some money. But these are these fold up steps. These actually fold in, give you a clean look underneath. These stairs aren't collecting debris or anything under there while you're traveling down the road. The other nice thing about them, they're independently adjustable each leg and solid, super solid. Combine that with the grab handle here, you've got a nice easy egress and ingress into the trailer and out of the trailer. Let's continue around the back. Let's have a little look back here. Of course, we include a spare tire with every trailer we sell with a cover. It'll have the cover. Sewer hose goes right in the bumper here, right inside here. We are prepped for backup camera here. Okay, so all Jayco trailers come with a prep for the backup camera where you can simply undo a couple screws there, screw on the camera and the wireless right to the vehicle. Super easy installation. We can order it from the factory with the cameras as well, but we usually just let the customer decide if they want to order it uh, and we'll install it here. Very easy. Come on inside. Let's have a look. Okay, one of the nice, <laughs> I'm telling you, how many trailers do you come into that you've got a huge, huge pantry type closet here? Look at this. And there's hanging hooks in there. There's not many trailers of any size, let alone a 23, 24 footer like this. This is not a 30, 32 footer. You gotta remember, but the storage in here will make you feel like it almost is, okay? Why don't we go around this way? Or we can also look at this. We can also look at this, look at this, look at this. I always went past this. All your controls right nice and easy to, to access as you're getting in the trailer as well. You wanna move the slide out out, it's right here in the doorway. You wanna move the awning out, it's right here. Light switches right here, even for the light switch on the awning. Your water heater, remember, gas electric, flick a switch, turn it on, you're done. Water pump, same thing. All your tank levels, all easy to read. Very simple. All right, let's continue throughout this way here. Now, in your living area, you've got a nice TV already built in. This is pre-mounted, ready to go. It's all wired into the stereo system here. Again, outside speakers, inside speakers, DVD player, CD player, MP3, USB, HDMI, all the stuff. I have no clue how to operate, but that's okay. Our technicians do and kids do. Anyways, the TV is all included with this one storage storage here you got your satellite receivers maybe additional items storage here for whatever you need um, moving down into the kitchen area microwave stove the stove top has your nice smooth glass cover this is great for if, if you need to use this as extra counter space don't get me wrong there's lots of counter space here but if you need to use it for extra counter space you leave that down like that you're ready to use your stove you flip this up, now you've got a nice backsplash there, easy to access. The other thing, again, I already mentioned it, but I'm just, I'm so impressed with a small trailer like this of how big the kitchen area is and the counter space. Most of the time you're getting just a tiny bit on each side of the sink. This has got a great, great amount of uh, counter space. Doors, drawers, you got lots of drawers here. Plywood boxes, full extension roller glides, lots of drawers, they come out all the way the doors, these are all, again, quality Jayco. Why do they have two-year warranty? Why are they the best selling? Why are they the best for resale value? Real wood. In Manitoba, how are the roads? Nice and smooth like the interstates in the U.S.? Not even close, right? Picture these bouncing up and down. Now picture if this was just particle board wrapped in paper that was maybe miter cut and just stapled together. That stuff doesn't last. Real wood, mortise and tenon. Built by Amish Craftsman right in the Jayco factory. I've been there. It is awesome. They really, seriously, ride to work. Horse and buggy, tie up, go to work. And they build these cabinets right in the factory at Jayco. Solid, solid, solid. We are prepped for solar. On the roof, it's easy mount. We can mount solar panels for you. We can even order them right from the factory this way. But if not, it's the installation is much more simple than it used to be. 
We'd have to rip things apart and wire them. It's all pre-wired for it, easy installation. Double sink, double sink here. Um, you know, some of them have just a tiny little sink. High rise faucet gives you nice access to fill larger pots and pans and things like that. And metal, this is again, quality, can't, can't stress that enough. Your air conditioning unit in the system here, in the unit is, it's a, a rooftop mount air conditioner, but it's ducted all the way through into the bedroom, into the bathroom. You have to remember 23 foot unit. Sometimes that unit is just blowing air out of the main unit and you're sweltering hot in here. The bathroom's boiling. This is more even cooling as well as heating. The ducting is all ducted for the heat as well. Digital thermostat, easy to control. Set it and forget it for the heat and or the air conditioning. Um, we'll continue into the bedroom and then we'll come back out and look at the, the rest of the unit. We've only done half there. Remember, it's only a 23 foot unit, but it looks much bigger. LED lights everywhere too, right? You've got four lights in this bedroom alone. You've got outlets on each side, reading lights on each side, um, charging, you know, you have things that you need to charge, CPAP machines, whatever the case may be. We've got it here. We also have a little accent lighting up there. Isn't that nice? You know, just a little something. If you don't want to, you want to have some light in here, but you don't want to turn on the bright LED lights, that blue light is nice and easy on the eyes. Storage up here, storage here, hanging closets. We've got lots of storage in this, in this unit and in the bedroom. The bed lifts up. Remember what I said, you can access all that stuff from here, but I'm not holding this up. This is held up by the gas struts. And again, a lot of other brands, what they're doing is they're, they're not doing that because that costs money and they want to have a cheap trailer. Well, that's what you get. Serta, Serta mattress, plywood plywood not particle board not osb not chipboard not other products this is plywood it's stronger it's more expensive but you know what that's truly a case of you get what you pay for hear that that's solid where else are you going to fly find plywood in a jaco like this i showed you already in the doors in the drawers i should say hardwood in the drawer in the doors plywood in the drawers the floor on this 5 8 tongue and groove plywood Glued, screwed, bolted. It's it's solid. 16-inch centers, two by three studs, uh, floor joists, I should say. It is one of the most solid foundations in the industry. Right, like I said, right from the ground up. Now, walls, two by two. Some other brands, they're putting one by twos. They're turning them sideways, then they wrap some blanket insulation. You get next to nothing. This is a two by two stud, 16 inches on center, at least. Headers above the slide outs, headers above the doors, headers above the windows, all solid, solid, solid stuff. The roof, 3 8 tongue and groove plywood set over top of the Magnum Truss roof system. Magnum Truss, 4,500 pounds this has been tested to, okay? Most other brands say, yeah, maybe it's a walk on roof, or yeah, no, don't even walk on our roofs. 4,500 pounds tested. Check out Jayco's website for the Magnum Truss. They show a trailer right upside down and a tornado came out. That thing is still sitting on its roof. Like it's actually, it didn't even do any damage, barely. Okay, bedroom, windows both sides. Sorry, I didn't get that while I was in there. The windows both sides, cross ventilation, emergency exit. You have pleated shades, dark, dark tinted windows. The sun doesn't come in. You can't see in in the daytime. You're in here in the night, you got lots of lights going. Turn the blinds down, crank them down. And away you go, you got nice, nice protection there. The fridge, this is a gas electric. Remember, some of these smaller trailers, single little door fridge and it's tiny. This is double door, separate freezer. Even a little lip here, things are going down the highway. This isn't gonna come rolling out the orange juice can on your toes. Shelves, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's a great little fridge and it's gas and electric auto switching. Okay, Norcold, one of the best names in the industry. I don't know if we've, can you get in here, Kevin? Can you have a look and see in here? This is 23 foot trailer, you gotta remember. Remember that pantry over there. Look at this storage here. Storage in the bedroom, storage above the kitchen, storage everywhere, just massive amounts of storage. Real wood. Storage above the couch, storage all over. Again, nice little couples unit. If you need to sleep extra people, this does have the height of bed. I'm not gonna go through the demo right now, come in check it out in person but this folds out three times 
and or yeah trifold three foot iron and you can sleep two people on there relatively comfortably it's just comfortable enough for a couple nights you don't want them to stay for weeks do you right so they made it just comfortable comfortable enough for a couple nights this you don't need this you can take it use it outside at the campsite you can fold it up put it under the bed multifunctional as well you can move it over here have it more like an almost like an island for prep space whatever you need but again you got lots of counter space there you shouldn't need to all right rb rear bathroom rear bathrooms usually have a really nice bathroom your rear bathrooms usually have a really decent amount of storage that's hopefully this one doesn't disappoint let's see oh yeah no no it's good it's good usually they got a pretty good size shower and tub or whatever there yeah so you've got the nice sink you've got ground fault uh interrupter outlets storage towels extra bedding even extra clothing whatever you need you got lots of storage there one thing i like and i know it may sound silly foot flush toilet don't kid yourself they're not all created equal foot flush toilet okay picture this it's not bad right to flush the toilet after you're done or do you want to do this and lean right over the toilet bowl and flush it with your hand? Now, I don't want to get graphic, but let's be honest. This is much better. Look at the size of the shower. Can you get in here and see this? I'm going to get in it. You're going to see. I'm not a huge guy, but come on. I can fit. Well, never mind. There's a lot of room in here. Even the skylight. Skylight gives you lots of extra light, but it also gives you height if you are a really tall individual. Built-in shelves in the sub tubs around. Yeah, I remember you go in some brands, you're not even seeing a tub surround at all. There's nothing. You're bare walls. Okay? These guys do it right. What else? I think we've taken a really nice tour of this one. Of course, there's lots more to show you. You can get in touch with us. Call us or text us. 204-233-4478. Or you can email us at sales at gnrcw.com. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate um, you know the local customer shopping local. We really appreciate that, as well as uh, and supporting us through our 50 years. This is our 50th anniversary, so thank you very much.